I believe you're putting yourself down as Her Majesty's Court Sheriff. I do believe that's misinterpretation and misrepresentation, that's it. I'm doing what? Uh, you've told somebody that you're a High Court Sheriff and you're going to be calling tomorrow to force entry at their house on the Isle of Wight, I believe. Right, I'll tell you who I am. I'm, I'm John Bradley from uh, Bailiff Response Team North West, yeah? And we specialise in dealing with Marston's bailiffs. And at the minute, mate, right. you're stepping outside your jurisdiction by telling somebody you're a High Court Sheriff. Right, what, what address did I call to? Because I hadn't spoken to anybody at the door today, so I don't know how right. I'll talk it's to anybody that. Somebody, somebody called uh, Harrison. I'm just waiting on the full details coming through to me. But apparently... Harrison. Apparently you're you're going to force entry tomorrow to this property, so I'm in the car. Well, well, I've left a letter. Yeah, t saying that you're going to force entry tomorrow. Yeah, but you know as well as I do. If you know anything about it, I can't do that. I have to concern residents and the fact that they're refusing to pay first. I've left a letter to try and prompt a response so that I can get sorted out, and they don't incur removal costs. Because this is a magistrate's warrant, warrant of control. No, you've got. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You haven't. You haven't got power of entry till you go back to the courts and you ask them to give you a specific warrant that says you can enter by force. Yeah. yeah. No, you have to right. go back and get that. Listen, right? As I explain. Look, 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 mate, I'm not hang on, hang on. Let me tell you something. Right. Well, let me tell you something. Let me just tell you something. I ex. I explained yesterday, yeah, to an officer, yeah, from Marston's, right, you's lot are not above the police. If a police officer wants to come through my front door, the first thing he does as he walks through my front door is give me a wet ink signed warrant right. from a judge. Right, well, mate, do you not, do you not think by telling somebody... Anybody that I call on, I've worked on the Isle of Wight for 10 years, and I can walk down the road and without getting a basic background in my head, I don't So what, just, can I just, I oh know, yeah, can I just ask you one question, what, what gives you the right to force entry though if you haven't got the, uh, the, the proper well, direction? you said the procedures that we have to go through, but I have to make them aware of what could happen. Yeah, but how can it happen if you can't force entry? So you're confirming to me that you can't force right. entry till you've okay. been to the court. Right. so the enforcement, uh, the tribunal's court's enforcement act 2007, Yes, but if a bailiff who was not grant, been granted a warrant to force entry... I haven't said that I'm going to force entry tomorrow. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just, I'm just, just picking your brains, to be honest. Well, you did. That's exactly what you said. Because that's you what we got told. I was going back tomorrow to force entry. And that's not right. That's not what I've done. And this high court sheriff bit, it says on the letter Marston Group, Sheriff Marston Group, Sheriff Marston Group, Did you know, is it true that you can't force entry on a private dwelling? What? No, I'm just asking a question. Is it true that you can't I force... I didn't hear it. Oh, sorry. Is it, is it true that you can't force entry on a private dwelling? Well, I've just explained the legislation that it's under. Yes, you can. You can force entry on what, for, regarding a civil matter or debt? Criminal debt. So what? So you you can get a force uh, an entry of warrant to force entry on a fine. Yes. Well, I'd like to see. Have you actually get, have you actually got the warrant with you? Oh. No, I haven't. No, it's a warrant of control issued by the magistrate's court. Yeah, but is it not? Is it signed by a judge? Is it what? Sorry. Is it? Has it been signed by a judge? No, have you actually, have you physically, have you physically seen the warrant yourself? Do you know what, I don't even have to have the warrant with me. All I need to know, as an enforcement agent working on behalf of the court, is that there's a warrant in existence. I don't even have to see the warrant, I don't have to show it to anybody, I just need to know that there's a warrant in existence for me to be able to go 
then remove goods from that property. Yeah, but none, none, none of the following types of, of warrant carry a power to break a, po a door open or enter, no, 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 or, or enter by force to allow a police constable or to make threat of an arrest re refusing to open the door. So <laughs> how, if she doesn't give you consent... Hey, mate, you break in, I can't hear you. If she doesn't give you consent to get in, how would you expect to get in? Sorry? If the occupier doesn't give you consent to break in or to come in, how are you going to break in? But how? A locksmith. A locksmith? Then you'd be done for burglary. Well, you won't be done for burglary. Of course you will. You said that right at the beginning of this conversation that you knew what you were talking about. I do. Well, you know you don't, mate. You obviously don't. You need to get onto the tribunal court and report on that 2007. So when's the last time you've actually used the locksmith to break in? Me personally? Yeah. And when's the last time you used the removal team to, to remove people's goods out of a property? Uh, about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Yeah. Well, I don't believe a word of it. Because oh, I don't believe a word you're saying. Well, what do you think I do for a living? Well, you, you, you scare obviously, people. you scare people. Obviously. But you can't force entry for a distress warrant, a fine, a liability order. You, you can't force entry over a civil matter. Well, okay, that's fine. All right, give advice, whoever it is. That and all you're doing is digging deeper and deeper in the hole. No, can I? Well, can I, it's just one more thing to say is that we are actually now, while you're on the phone, removing your implied right of access. So if you actually do go back to that property, you'll be done for trespassing. Well, I'll give them the reference number if you want. Yeah, you can't do that either. We can't. Trust me. Do you want to bet? Act. We don't, we don't work off acts or statues. We work off... Acts or statues are only governed by consent. Yeah, exactly. Bring him back. Bring him back. Oh, fine. <laughs> yeah, I've got anyway, this is John. Hang on, let me try and bring him back and give him this reference from there. John J. Rambo. John J. Rambo. Rambo. There you go. I'm just bringing him back now to formally remove his implied rights of access. I just did that. He didn't, yeah. didn't even know what address we were on. Hello. Hiya mate, the reference number is 260-7654. You formally had your implied rights of access removed from this property. Okay? If you go back there, you will be committed to trespass. Listen, hold on, hold on a minute. I'm just going to tell you something. Don't hang the phone up. Yeah. So that. And that, obviously, likes answering the phone, so let's ring him back again. I think this will be another one we can send footage to. It's a phone. Anyone wants his number? There it is. After you finish your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, keep press one. Mr. So Wild, we've formally removed your implied rights of access. If you check us out, we are the Bailiff Response Team North West. Speak to your company, they'll tell you all about us, mate. Okay, see you soon, Twinkle Toes. Yeah. I am John J. Rambo from www.sand dash for dash common dash law dot org dot uk or you can find us on facebook at stand for common law um see the bailiffs beat the bailiffs and the banks and the banks we're everywhere peace out love and light waiting is this is this typing it through to me now Right, it's coming down in on two seconds. Right, no, I spoke to him to Rob, I put the account on hold till Friday, he's been just messing with me quite a bit. Right, so you've she said that they're going to get it on. Well, she's saying...
Champions League support paid affiliate. So that's what it's collected on. Do you know that the TV licensing, do you know that they're, they're supporting paedophilia doing that? And you're collecting on, and you're collecting on behalf of them. You don't, you don't watch the telly? No, I don't, mate. I'm always working. I've got five kids, six and four. I'm always working. I'm working all the time. I'm not going to be a good one. I'm not going to be a good one. All right, all right. This is the situation as I see it, right? You have a warrant of control, yeah? It's not a warrant of break entry. The warrant of control allows you to gain peaceful entry to the property. If the person denies you peaceful entry, you have another then further two attempts to go back, which makes that your three times to go. Right? If you don't obtain... Right. Okay. Right. On the other side of it, yeah, I've identified to you that this person has MS, and there is also a mental health issue there. So there's, there's vulnerabilities, mate. If you know this person... Right. Well, you just told me that you know this person. Okay, well what I'm doing now, mate, is I'm asking you as a request of identifying them vulnerabilities to you. Are you prepared to return this to them? It's what, what I'm doing is what we have to do now. Well, we have to do it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, yeah. So you know that they can't welfare, they can't deal with vulnerability cases. Yeah, which doesn't, which doesn't enable you to enforce anything upon them, yeah? Okay, okay, fair enough. So are you giving me your word now that you're returning this to your welfare department, yeah? Yes, what, what I would say, are you going to speak to her? I'm going to ring her now. Okay. Uh, well, what I'm going to do, mate, is, what I'm going to do, pal, is I'm going to speak to her first, and then I'm going to ask her to accept the phone call off you, okay? If you could just explain to her that you're going to return it in your own words. But don't, please don't be horrible to her, mate. She's absolutely... No, I'm not, mate. I'm not going to be honest you. No. Mate, all we're trying to do, all we're trying to do, right, is we're just... People trying to bully my mate, that's what I'm trying to do, mate, and, you know, quite wrong, you Okay, so as long as you've, you've given me your word that you're going to return that to your welfare department, yeah? Well, and, right. and what I'm going to ask you to do is either email or fax uh, some sort of confirmation. Yeah. Just so that they know that, because you, you know some of the people that we're dealing with are not exactly honest. Yeah, I understand that, yeah. sat at home mate fearing and obviously you don't want somebody with a mental health issue and MS sat there fearing here. Okay. So I've identified them too so we email address is it customer services at marstongroup.co.uk yeah 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 we send that with all of them mate yeah we all it is basically mate is right there's a lot of bailiffs running around this country and they're just basically trying to kick doors in they're trying to take money off people so what we're trying to do mate is we're just trying to if you go on to youtube yeah, and you look for stand for common law mate you'll see what we're doing you know what i mean if you're reasonable with us, mate, we'll be reasonable with you and we'll try. Hopefully, we I appreciate that, mate. I appreciate that and I thank you for your honesty. You know what I mean? At last, we come across a bailiff who understands the guidelines of the law and work within the guidelines of the law, and I appreciate that, mate. And what we'll do is we'll endeavour our best to make sure that the correct documentation is sent from the person or ourselves on behalf of 
to make sure that your company is aware of the vulnerabilities. Because as you know and I know now, it's got to go back to the compliance stage, which removes your fees off it, yeah? Well, it can do if you want to. Yeah, we've read it, mate, we've read it. Agree, mate. There is there is enforcement officers around this country running around thinking that they're above the law, and you know and I know that they're not. Mate. Yeah, and that's what we're here for, mate. We're here to stop the people picking on the vulnerable people because that's who they target. They target the vulnerable ones, and they know that the vulnerable ones will end up putting themselves further into debt to pay them, and it's out of order, mate. It's bang out of order. <laughs> So we're waiting for them to reply to us. You know what I mean? So. You know what you've got to do? You know that that form of complaint? Yeah, yeah. Well, what we're doing is, first of all, we're targeting his manager and asking his manager to deal with it. Yeah? If he doesn't deal with it, then we'll go for the formal complaint. Okay? We're trying to, we're trying to, re we're trying to, we're trying to resolve it in-house. In, in, in your interest and in their interest, it's better to resolve it in-house, isn't it? So, if they don't reply to us, we've got video evidence of this guy. I've identified a vulnerability to this guy. As you just said yourself straight away on the phone, right, I shouldn't be at that front door. This guy, he, this other guy was told she will, she, 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 she goes into uh, fits under stress. And if he keeps going to the house, she's going to go into a fit. I'm not bothered, I'm going around there. Yeah, he's, he's fucked it now, him. I've got him on video saying that. He's, he's bollocks it now. Well, that's what we're going for, mate. That's, that's what we're going for. We're going for the harshest penalty possible. Because people like that make people go and hang themselves and stuff like that. What's the case that right? could be a bad name, isn't it? Right, what's your name again? Sorry, pal. What? Phil Wild. Phil Wild. All right, I'm John James Bradley from uh, Bailiff Response Team North West. Um, I hope in future, mate. Uh, obviously, you know, we'll have a working relationship with you, mate. If we can identify things to you, obviously I hope that you'll take them on board. And then you'll, you'll listen to what we say. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Did you like me? Did you, did you like uh, the <laughs> like end of the conversation? Twinkle toes. <laughs> We put it on the end of all the all the messages to the bailiffs that we that we speak to. For. All right, mate. So just 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 to clarify the situation, you're sending this to your uh, welfare team, and it's down to the lady now to prove to the welfare team that she's vulnerable. Yep. Yeah? Okay. And you won't be visiting the property. And you won't. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, okay, I'll, what I'll tell you is I've recorded your conversation, mate, which we do with every bailiff, yeah? Okay, you haven't said anything out of order. If you had done, mate, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know what I mean? But you haven't said anything wrong. You, you've said all the right things, mate, okay? show it to you, will you 
accept that if she shows it you through the window of the property? Because obviously, mate, she doesn't. She's scared. She, I know, but she's scared of you pushing past her or something like that, mate. And well, I mean, I can do that if you want to show me through the window. Just right. I'm going to speak to her. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to speak to her now, mate, and I'll get her to get as much information as she can together. Uh, I'll get her to ring you when she's got it. If she can show it to you, will you then return it then? Because then that saves all the emails and messing about, doesn't it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, cheers. Thanks a lot for that, mate. Thank you. So, that was Mr. Wilde on the Isle of Wight. Uh, obviously a bailiff that understands the guidelines of the law, which is what we're looking for all the time. He's agreed to send uh, Kimmy Harrison's debt uh, to the welfare department, which isn't the result that we want, but it's a step in the right direction for her, because now she knows uh, Mr. Wilde is not going to be coming for an entry on the property tomorrow, so she can sleep tonight. Well, can I just explain exactly what this is for? It's over TVL again, BBC. Yeah. TV licensing. TV again. licensing. The, the to Capita have not even visited a property, they've not even inspected a property, they've not been inside a property and they've issued a fine. And then what they do is, Capita, is it goes straight over to Marston's and then they collect the debt, um, which is outrageous. So we're going to have to get her to dispute it with Capita as well. Because but, she, didn't, but in the meantime, she didn't even own a TV at the time she got this, like, this well, fine. In the meantime, she can actually, uh, we're going to get Mr. Wilde to go round, she can show him through the window. Uh, that she's got these vulnerable circumstances and then Mr Wilde has agreed to send it to the welfare department which will then give her more time to actually dispute it with Capita. So, I'm John James Bradley from uh, www.stand-law.org.uk My name's Wesley Ahmed and I'm from Beat the Bailiffs and Beat the Bailiffs response team North West. Love and light. Over and out. Yeah.